Thank you very much for clicking this video. In this video, I will explain how you can use Bootstrap icons on your project. So if you're interested to do that, you can actually download Bootstrap icons. So I'll go to the Bootstrap icon download folder. So I'll search here Bootstrap icon download. And if I hit enter, I can go full screen. So you can see this is the website icons.getbootstrap.com. So I will go there. And if I come here, you can actually download any icon what you actually like. You can see they actually added plenty of icons and you can use anyone. Okay. So first one is actually they recommend you to download Bootstrap icon. In order to do that, you need two things on your computer. First one is you need to uh, download Node.js and it's very simple just you can uh, go to the node.js website and you can download node.js and also you can install that and another one is it would be great if you have the uh, git bash command line on your computer if you're interested to download node.js you can go to the download and then you can search here node.js download node.js and you can see this is the website and you can download node.js for your computer it may be mac it may be windows or it may be linux and also you need to download git so i will write here download and then i will write here git in that case you can see this is the website you can also download git for mac windows or also linux now you can see i actually created a html file while i linked my uh, bootstrap.minified.css file as well as bootstrap js file as well as i have a custom css file where actually i will do some custom css and that's it the simple things okay so now if you're interested to download bootstrap icon on your project you can simply download using your npm so in order to do that i will go terminal and then i will click new and then i will change my terminal from powershell to git bash and then here you can also check if you have actually node so i can write here node and then if i hit enter in that case you can see node is working and also node is activated so i'll press ctrl d so that i can go out from node so now i will write here npm node package module and then I write here I N I T and then hyphen Y and then if I hit enter in that case you can see I have actually package.json now I my project is ready for downloading bootstrap icons so I will write here npm again and then I will write here I if you're interested to download bootstrap or if you're interested to download bootstrap icon you need to use I or anything whatever you prefer you can actually add I and then you can write here bootstrap hyphen icons and then if I hit enter in that case it will download bootstrap and if you think downloading it's a bit difficult for you you can just copy this from your bootstrap website and then you can paste it here okay so you can see now bootstrap icons are downloaded okay now i don't need uh, this terminal anymore now if you interested you can actually use any icon suppose if you interested to use this alarm icon on your project you can do so how you can do that i will write here img and then you need to copy the uh, node module name so i will copy the node modules names from here and then i will paste it here and then slash i will write here bootstrap icons and then i will go icons folder and then if you interested to use the alarm icon you can do so if i do alarm icon you can see here is the alarm icon now if you interested to uh, add here a phone number or phone icon you can do just by writing phone and if you do in that case you can see here is a phone icon using the svg icon it's very good thing and also you can use whatever you want as well as if you're interested, you can actually add any custom feature like if I want interested to add IMG and then if I add actually with uh, 70 pixel, in that case, you can see the icon is big and also the SVG icon, you can increase or decrease as much as you need or as low as you need so that it, it they will work everywhere and also it's nice. But if you're interested to change its color or if you're interested to make more things, in that case, SVG is not good for you. So in that case, you can use actually bootstrap icons. Okay. So if you're interested to do that, how you can do that? I can add, I want to add here icons. So in order to do that, I will write here U L L I A. I want to create a social section. So I will write here I class B I for bootstrap. And then I will write here class B I then Facebook. Something like that. You need to take a I and then there you need to write here B I for bootstrap and then bootstrap Facebook. And if you do, in that case here should have bootstrap i will use bootstrap cdn here i can go full screen and then i will go uh, under all icons you will see here you will have a uh, cdn option so i will copy the cdn and then i will paste the cdn on my html i can place anywhere i will place under the title now if i open my live server you can see my facebook icon is actually working now i will duplicate this once more and i will write here twitter I can duplicate once more, I can write here YouTube 
I can write once more it can be uh, Instagram I can write once more it can be LinkedIn so you can see in very short time I actually added some icons and the, all of them are bootstrap as well as all of them are fonts now you have the all ability like how actually you want to show suppose you want to make all of them a uh, social media icon in that case you can use UL and then you can write here uh, margin uh, zero I can add actually 15 pixel and then zero and then zero you can also add padding uh, I can add 15 pixel or I can add padding zero and then I will write list style none and for li I can actually add a display inline block and I can add margin right 15 pixel and then for a I can add li a and then I can write actually display block I can add actually font size 15 pixel background color it can be 26 26 26 I want to add a width 40 pixel you can also add a height I can add 50 pixel I think uh, also I can increase the width for this as well as I can change the color to white so you can see everything is customizable how actually you want to do you can do and now I can add actually text align uh, center padding top uh, 15 pixel or I can reduce this to 12 okay or 10 I can actually use border radius here uh, 5 pixel so you can see just by adding some class CSS I just have all functions as well as if you need hover effect you can also do so this way if you use the fonts option bootstrap font in that case you will have lots of option but sometime you might need SVG so I think I should actually explain both option so that you can use any bootstrap icon or uh, everywhere and remember one thing and that is after bootstrap version 3 they actually skipped bootstrap icons and then now in bootstrap version 5 they have icons so if you use bootstrap version 4 in that case you might face some issue or sometime you will not it will not work perfectly so if you're interested to use bootstrap icons you need to use bootstrap latest version bootstrap version 5 okay i have complete tutorial about bootstrap so if you're interested to learn bootstrap you can check out my bootstrap playlist if you follow bootstrap playlist i hope you will have good knowledge about bootstrap also i have a premium course on udemy i will add the link in the description you can check out that course also if you're interested to learn bootstrap in deeply i hope this video is helpful for you if you think this video is helpful for you click the like button if you think this video is not helpful for you click the dislike button and let me know why you don't like this if you still not subscribe my channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell button next to the subscribe button so when i will publish a video you will notified thanks for watching have a good day and stay safe i am ali hussain signing out